so The hard. police academy law. No, you did. So you finished three quarters of a bottle of wine by yourself, and you thought it was okay to load your kid into a car and drive him across State Road 54 you at 5:30 like at the end in the middle of the no. night. I know you don't care. You better turn you around. Look, I'm a black oh, man. Oh, I want you to look at my foot. I want everybody. We're gonna get everybody's I'm name. Been what do you I want every, what do you mean? What do you mean? Have you ever seen someone boldly challenge the law and face immediate consequences? That's exactly what happened when drunk Karen believed she could defy authority, only to find herself in handcuffs. Let's start with this drunk Karen who has extreme meltdown after getting kicked off plane. On December 30th, 2023, a chaotic scene unfolded at a Florida airport as a highly intoxicated mom was forcibly removed from a flight due to her disrupted behavior. So it seems to be the problem tonight. You're intoxicated and shooting me on the plane, running your mouth again, running your mouth to check out or when you're getting in here. Did you it's all on again? video. Yeah, when you first came in, you were giving them a problem. It's all on video. Can you tell me what I was giving them a problem about? Yeah, you're being this courteous. Please tell me in detail. How they all you told me already. But I, I need and to And now know. you're on the plane being discourteous again. That's fine. I need to so know in my own at? manner, how am I being discourteous? How am I being to this? Well, you're I need to know. right now, which is probably why you're being the way you are. That's fine. I need to know why. So where's why? your license at? No, I need to know why. Where's your exactly, license Exactly, exactly. No, under the law, I need to know exactly where why. Where is your exactly license this. at? I will give that to you. Yeah. Get your Florida license. It's a medical marijuana card. Oh, sorry. It's this one. Sorry, they, I keep it in the same thing. Can we bring it back over to my office? What's that? Can we bring it over to my office? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. right. Want to grab your bag? Okay. You got a body worn right. camera. You already walked away, and as I'm collecting my things, you literally said that you're not collecting your things as I'm collecting That's my things. That's not what I said. Which already shows. Yes, it is. Which All I said is. Which already shows you're not doing your job on that. So I am doing my job right now. Yeah, I'm already under so, the police right. academy law. I already know what I'm talking about. You're under arrest for disorderly and talking. No, I'm not. Yes, man, you are. No, yes, I'm man, not. You are. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yep. The woman's trouble began when she boarded a flight and took a seat that was not assigned to her. Her refusal to vacate the incorrect seat, combined with her loud and belligerent behavior, quickly escalated the situation. Flight attendants facing increasing difficulty managing her outbursts decided to request her departure from the aircraft. This request triggered a full-blown meltdown from the passenger who was visibly intoxicated. You don't want to listen. You're intoxicated and you're causing a scene at the airport. I literally, okay, Place that's fine. Your your My video literally Place, shows up. Put your hand Sorry, down. Let me, let me put this down. Let me put this down. Okay. Can I put this in my wallet? You put it down right there. With your restrooms. No, put I need it. to put this down so I know that it's in my restrooms. Ow! With Stop my, resisting and put it down. My hand Stop is fully incapitated with yeah. my thumb. Stop. That's fine. No, I'm not You're making happy. this worse than... You just put an assault, which I have an injury on, that you put assault on top of. Yes. That's fine. I have everything on top of right there. I'm in the police car I know exactly what the law is. You're literally pulling everything against it. Which no, is fine. I'm not. Yes, you are. Well, if you were in the police anything, academy, you will not be you, anymore. I told you I was putting my hands up against the police academy, everything. I told you I put my hand, and then I put my hands up, and you didn't give me a single chance to put my evidence up for me to put my own personal providence against the ground. That is illegal providence. You're still causing a problem. No, I'm not. I literally just told you on the police airport right, right there that hey, that is the illegal can you guys grab her stuff right so there. I can walk her up here, please? I'm not. You're literally going to be... You're causing a disturbance. Here. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not, sir. You literally had to pull you off the plane. Just, no, I do not. The moment you pull me off the plane was the moment I correspond with everything that you say corresponding with everything that was diligent all of that fun stuff so everything that you just did you will be hearing with your own current officer the situation deteriorated as the woman's behavior on the plane grew more erratic her inability to comply with instructions from the flight crew and her aggressive outbursts created a significant disturbance for a district her intoxicated state was apparent through slurred speech and a general lack of coherence further compounding the chaos 
Thank you so much. Yeah. You want to ask her a question? Uh, if she can put my chapstick on my Oh, no, no. I don't want to. I don't want to. Should I put it in your lip? Can I do it? No, that's way. You're, you're only your chapstick right now. She's definitely gonna, I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry? Do you think I'm going to get your chapstick? You going to jail? I would assume so. What did you do? I don't know. Be apparently too loud. Hmm? Too loud. Why are you too loud? I have my side and then you guys have your no, side. No, actually your side. I was in there. If I tell you my side, is it really going to count? Well, if you want to tell me, that's fine. But regardless, if you did something wrong, that's whatever. what I'm saying. I don't... I, I mean, you, you and I talking, it's like, I'm not, you know, on their oath, or you're not, you know, you're not sworn in. Yeah, it's like there's no point, I guess. What's up, man? Hey, bud. You all right, Bob? Yeah, man, how you doing? Good, yeah. The woman was ultimately charged with disorderly conduct, a common charge for individuals who create disturbances in public spaces. Her arrest involved her being taken into custody and transported to a local jail. The consequences of her actions included potential legal proceedings and the added stress of facing a lawsuit, which could further impact her future opportunities, including her aspirations for entry into a police academy. Well, because I asked the officer's, like, credentials. That's it. No, I'm sorry. He's trying, to fix, he's trying to fix your cuff. What did, no, literally, what did I do for me to be like this? Disorderly impacts. Not where, though? No, I want to know exactly where. Where Throughout the entire the time. officers where I'm going to... No, I did. I literally am a... No, I You're literally going. know the right You're of me arrest. going. Yep. They can't even get me on me fucking going up to any of the bars, anything of that, like doing any interest. Me going up, you did not fucking talk to me on fucking anything. No interest on whatever. So wait until I have you on the thing. He did not do his job. He did not search me on a single thing. Nothing before the airport. Nothing on even minimum on anything, on anything. All because I questioned your manhood. Yeah, you did. You had everything fine with me until I literally questioned your manhood. Yes, I did. Yes, I literally have it on video recordings. I had everything on you talking normal to me until I literally questioned your job. And then you immediately went into my jobs, this and this and this. I have everything on recordings. Everything. No, it doesn't matter. Everything on police duty is recording. Just wait. It doesn't matter. You with the wrong person, you really did. I warned you, it's not warning, it's not warning. I'm literally threatening you to the law, the law. How is it disorderly in In Florida, disorderly conduct is classified as a misdemeanor under Florida statute section 877.03. As a first degree misdemeanor, it is punishable by up to one year in jail and or a fine of up to $1,000. The severity of the penalty can vary based on factors such as the extent of the disruption and the individual's prior criminal history. Public intoxication addressed under Florida statute section 856.011 is generally considered a second degree misdemeanor. This charge can result in up to 60 days in jail and or a fine of up to $500 if the intoxicated behavior is disruptive but not severely hazardous. 
Additional consequences for such offenses may include probation, which could involve community service, mandatory counseling, or alcohol education programs. Offenders may also face significant legal costs, including fines and attorney fees, adding to their financial burden. The next time you're flying high, make sure it's just the altitude, not your blood alcohol level. Let's move to this next case where things might get even messier. In August 2022, a disturbing incident unfolded at a Florida gas station, leading to the arrest of a woman who exhibited alarming behavior while driving under the influence with her child present. The incident began when a Good Samaritan intervened to prevent the woman from leaving the store with a case of beer, having noticed her visibly intoxicated state. This intervention was critical in addressing the immediate dangers posed by her actions. So, I mean, recently, how she, could she have gotten to the I'm not kidding, I'm not worried about you want, I'm worried about child boy. Oh, this is just child neglect all day long. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Um, the oh, issue we right. have now is she's by herself. They would, they would. Um, okay. And dad is oh. somewhere in like two, three hours away. This is a child neglect case all day. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, how long was she in this door? Well, I don't know. When law enforcement officers arrived at the racetrack gas station, they were met with a troubling scene. The woman, whose identity has not been disclosed, was found to be extremely drunk. She admitted to consuming nearly an entire bottle of wine before attempting to drive with her child. Hey, are you busy? Uh, could you hop on my call and head over my way, please? I'm at the racetrack near Suncoast. So... Call oh, yeah, yeah, so this is probably going to be a child neglect that I'm probably going to go 1015 on. And we're going to have to call CPI to come take the kid because she has no one to take this kid with. Awesome. All right? Yeah, uh, yeah we're at the race track right now. Okay. Yeah, give me a minute. All right, no problem. No problem. I appreciate it. Okay. So I just fucked it. A mess. Um, so I'm here at the racetrack with uh, Drukin and Marine Drake. They got a call about this lady that was that was falling over all over the place inside of the racetrack. Uh, they get here, they do some investigating. Turns out that this lady drove here, openly admitted that she was intoxicated, drove here with the kid to get more alcohol, and I mean, she's visibly intoxicated right now. She has no one to drop the kid off. She's admitting that she said she drove intoxicated with this kid. I'm thinking 10, 15 on for child neglect. Now, let me ask you, how do I get a hold of CPI? Because I've never had to do a CPI call out. Okay, all right, so I'm pulling a, I'm pulling a case number right now. I have, I have another uh, third shift unit coming out because Someone's gonna have to stay with this kid if we go 1015. So, so I'm, I'm already working on that. I'm gonna talk to this lady again. Um, I'm gonna, I mean, honestly, after what they gathered, I imagine I'm gonna double check that they were just spontaneous utterances in a non custodial interview. She came from right, right south of 54, that, that apartment complex on Fountainside. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check a couple of things with, with these guys and now I'm gonna talk to her. Um, you know, post Miranda and see what she has to say. All right. The situation was exacerbated by the fact that the woman had driven to the gas station specifically to purchase more alcohol. Her decision to drive while impaired with her young child in tow highlighted serious concerns about both her judgment and the safety of her child. The office. So the guest was saying that she was very intoxicated. And usually I've seen her all the time. She seems just fine. Yeah. I didn't take care of her personally. Our credit card went down, so I was like trying to take care of that. Who was actually dealing with her? Her mom with her? Uh, my associate is inside. Um, but nothing seemed like really the form, to be honest. One took the other, yes, that's okay. Was there anything like where she was like falling over or not standing up straight or anything that led you to believe this was off today? The only thing that seemed a little odd was when she was really. And she was like trying to like back a little bit. Okay, 
Yeah, she, she didn't fall over or stumble no. or anything like that. Okay. That was that just seemed a little off for me because I always like see her all the time and I usually take care of her. I get it. That's why I was like, I didn't know if maybe it's okay. Thank you. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's what still doesn't change much. This lady's admitting to drinking, not so really. So, I just want, so, I'm not interrupting, but so that statue, I've read it, because I was like, I know there's a part here that you don't have to prove it. So, it's by either knowledge or omission. So, I don't know what she admitted to or what's going on for her. She's over okay. there. Like, just so long as someone was there. I mean, we can prove that she was driving the car, right? I'm sure there's a camera right there. It's right down to the car. Yeah. So, and all we have to articulate is that she's under the influence. So. Which she's already admitted. Right. It's really intoxicating. She even said that she came back over here to get a glass of wine. After she admitted to drinking over at the house? Okay. All right. And so let me ask you, Deputy Trophy, with your experience, would you determine that she's probably under the influence of some form of intoxication? She said we're, she just said we're clear water. Okay. Cool. Unfortunately, so, my camera... No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I mean, so, again, uh, at this point, I think we have more than enough, especially with her being that stuff non custodially So it's, it's disorderly, so it's disorderly talks for she did this yeah, uh -huh. child Officers on the scene were informed by a school teacher who happened to be at the gas station that the child was under her temporary care. This information led the officers to take immediate action to ensure the child's safety. Given the woman's impaired state, and her admission of driving while intoxicated, the officers decided to contact Child Protective Services CPI to address the child neglect concerns. The woman's child was ultimately placed with a relative while the investigation continued. Listen to me, I'm Deputy Garcia. Why are you? Because you're not listening to me. I just explained why. You're not listening to me. I'm Deputy Garcia, okay? You're Miss yes. Answer my question, are you Miss Yes. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna explain to you what's going on. At this point, we're conducting a lawful investigation into child neglect, okay? So before you before you start, I'm gonna advise you of your Miranda rights, okay? But at this point, you're detained. You have the right to remain silent, and you can say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have a present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights as I've explained them to you? Yes. Okay, so you understand everything that I've explained to you? What? Do you understand each of these statements that I've said to you, yes or no? Yes, Okay. But why? Why what? He explained to you that you're detained. He has to read your Why am I being detained? Okay. So I just explained it. I'm, I'm conducting a criminal investigation into child neglect. The child? No, it's not. It's not like that. Okay, so what's been going on today, ma'am? Because I'm going to okay, be honest so with you. I was, in the two I'm minutes, moving. Just wait one second. In the two minutes that I'm speaking to you, it already seems like something's wrong. It seems like you're impaired to some degree. So what's going on? Impaired? Give me a drug test. Okay. Because... The woman was arrested and charged with two serious offenses, child neglect and disorderly intoxication. Child neglect charges were brought due to her decision to drive under the influence with a minor in the vehicle, posing significant risks to the child's safety. Disorderly intoxication charges were levied due to her disruptive behavior and impaired state at the gas station. Um, I don't know. You don't like, know. Uh, a bottle, maybe? A bottle. So, would you say that you finished that bottle prior to you driving here? Not really, no. What's not really? How much of the bottle did you finish? I don't know, like three quarters of the bottle. So you finished three quarters of a bottle of wine by yourself and you thought it was okay to load your kid into a car and drive him across State Road 54 Why are you at 5.30 like at the end in the middle of the day when there is when there is traffic like there's no one's business. You well, thought that was okay. Well, why are you talking? Like uh, answer my question. You thought that was okay. I was just trying to go back to my apartment to pack up my stuff That's because not my I'm question. moving. That's not my question. Did you think it was okay after drinking three quarters of a bottle point, of wine? At that point in time, no, I did not. So you didn't think so it was I'm okay, but you no. still did it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Do me a favor. Put your hands on your back. 
I'm not playing this fucking game with you. Hold that. Follow me. Wow. Really? Lean You're up against the car. All, all Lean up against this? the car. Spread your legs. Do all of this? Lean up against the car. Uh, do you have anything on you? No. Okay. I didn't do anything. Sit in the car. I didn't do anything. Sit in the car. Following her arrest, the woman faced legal proceedings and was sentenced to two months of probation. In addition, she was ordered to pay a substantial fine of $4,200. The legal consequences were a direct result of her dangerous actions and the subsequent risks she posed to her child. Under Florida statutes SS 827.03, child neglect occurs when a caregiver fails to provide adequate care or protection, potentially resulting in significant harm to the child. For a third degree felony, penalties include up to five years in prison, five years of probation, and a fine up to $5,000. If the neglect is severe or involves a child under six, it can escalate to a second degree felony with penalties of up to 15 years in prison, 15 years of probation, and a fine up to $10,000, along with possible mandatory parenting classes or counseling. Disorderly intoxication under Florida statutes SS 856.011 involves public intoxication that disrupts peace or safety. It is typically a second degree misdemeanor, punishable by up to 60 days in jail, six months of probation, and a fine up to $500. Additional consequences may include community service or substance abuse counseling. These penalties aim to protect children and ensure public safety through both punitive and rehabilitative measures. All right, let's move to this next case where things might get even worse. On the night of February 5th, 2021, Broward County Sheriff's deputies were alerted to a troubling situation involving a black Dodge Charger. Reports described the vehicle traveling on only three wheels, causing sparks to fly along the road. The deputies quickly responded to the scene, where they encountered a situation far more complex than they initially anticipated. Hello, ma'am. Yes, what's hello. Going what's going on? How you doing, sir? My car. Or St. Lucie? Or St. Lucie? Listen, I said the it's my on. birthday. I was here on the celebration. What I gotta do so I can get this situated? Okay. I'm fucking pissed. I don't know. Somebody hit me. My fucking shit is fucking done. What I gotta do? Like, it's my fucking birthday. I hear you. Nobody's talking to me. Give me a second, all right? Listen, I understand that, but this is in your car. Okay, well, I'm down. Okay, but somebody Listen, this isn't your car. I understand. Somebody needs to understand to me what's going on. Okay. Okay, you mean to talk to you? No? Okay. Nobody said nothing. Because you're They're freaking out. Leaving me out on the sidewalk. Because you're screaming. Talk to me. You get them time to talk to you. Talk to me. Everybody get it situated. Brand new 2020, and everybody just walking around looking like it's just a Hey, can you go to the show? Yeah. Like anybody would be upset. It's a 2020 Looking out for one going in, fam. I'm this close from putting you in cuffs. I'm just letting you know right now. Uh, I'm this close from putting you in cuffs. Up, so you either control it. Hey, Chrissy, Chrissy. It's my birthday. Chrissy. And it's happening to me. Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy. I'm pissed. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. They're gonna put you in handcuffs. For what? Cause you're acting irate. Every, Cause you're listen, acting irate. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, I have every right to get be upset. Get away! Get away! My from car. Do not touch me. My do car. Do I'm not touching. Well, get away! My don't you guys car is upset. Face. You're not talking to me. You're just leaving me out in the open. I have every right to be upset. Upon their arrival, officers found the driver in a state of extreme intoxication. The driver, a woman, was visibly impaired and exhibited erratic behavior. She initially claimed that she had been the victim of a hit in the bath, hitching it, but her explanations were inconsistent and lacked credibility. Despite her claims, there was no immediate evidence or proof of driving under the influence DUI that Nia flunes. Every right. Every right. So, what's your name? What's your name? It's four letters. 
What's your name? I know it's four letters. One, two, three, four. What? How do you pronounce it? She's getting really close. She's getting really close. Not to me. I have a 2020 car. That's damaged. Ma'am, we're trying to sit you. You're not trying to do nothing. Nobody's talking to me. Say, I'm not right. I have every right. Can you sit down? That's not your car. Can you sit down or I put you in cuffs? Don't put me in cuffs. Okay, okay. Turn around. No. Turn around. Put me in cuffs. Turn around. Detain me. I am going to detain you. That's Turn fine. Turn around. As officers attempted to assess the situation, the driver's behavior escalated dramatically. She became increasingly agitated, shouting at the officers and arguing about her treatment. Her emotional outbursts and refusal to comply with the officer's instructions only worsened her predicament. Her behavior not only disrupted the officer's efforts, but also demonstrated a clear disregard for their authority and instructions. I didn't do anything wrong. Didn't do anything wrong. I, I know. I know my rights. I, you're not in. You don't come have. Up, come on. I have a dress come on. Okay, that's fine. First, no, no. Uh, you're going to sit in the back of my car until you really. I, you can detain me and kick me right there. I got my purse. I sit have down. Sit down. a dress. Sit down. Sit down. Listen. Sit down. Officer. Sit down. I have a dress on. Sit down. I'm going to get you your I have a dress on. It's as simple as sit down. Sit down. I'll get you Sit down. We're here to help you. Like somebody hit me. Okay. And they hit him right. Okay. Okay. And you're treating me like a criminal. Uh -huh. Sit down. Like I'm a college graduate with a criminal justice okay. degree. Okay. Sit down. I know what sit I'm down. supposed to be sit doing. Down. Sit down. Anybody would sit be down. upset. Sit down. And you're treating me no, I'm not like anyway. I did something wrong. Put your legs inside. If I'm not to detain, if I'm not to detain, Nancy, All right. The driver's meltdown, marked by irrational demands and combative interactions with the deputies, led to her being placed in handcuffs. While the officers initially considered writing a report without arrest due to the lack of immediate DUI evidence, her actions and the chaos she created ultimately compelled them to detain her. The charges against her included disorderly intoxication, among other offenses. Down. Do you want to get on Can you put the air down? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna... I cannot breathe I'm in gonna here. I'm going to open the door. I know you don't care. You're going to turn because around. I'm going to black I'm moment. Fuck I'm fucking act normal when you come out here. And I'm exposed. Look about fucking Relax. Look about fucking Relax. Relax. No, I want you to look at my foot. I want you to look at my foot. I want you to look at my foot. I can take the headphones off. I want everybody's name. I'm embarrassed. What do you mean? I want everybody. What do you mean? What do you mean? Just relax. We're taking the headphones off. You need to relax. He's looking for it, okay? I'm a county employee. Well, your job could be in jeopardy right now. Your job could be in jeopardy right now. Okay? Based How? on the behavior that you have. Somebody hit me a run. Okay, and, and there's an easy way to deal with it. Broke a hundred. You broke it yourself by the way you no, were acting. All right, no. take take her, man. Take her away. I'm telling you, man. Please take know, her away. I know. Okay. I let's, want my let's, bracelet. Let's, let's call Dodge. Give me your. I don't give, have your bracelet. Give me your card. I don't have your bracelet. Give me your card. Baby, give me the bracelet. No, let's call give me your card. Sick. I want Grab her and take her. I, I want okay, everybody. You don't know. Please. I, I hear you. I hear you, dog. I, so do it. I am. I am. I want do it. I, I don't want her fighting me. And then we have. I don't give a shit. She's fighting you. She fights me. She's going to jail. You right. Hey, old boy. What's up? What's up? Oh, yeah. What's up, bro? Hey, grab her and I take her. How hard is this instruction? Take you to fucking jail. No, no, too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. No, 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 no. For what? Ma'am, put your arms behind your back. For what? Yeah, Lean up here. For what? For what? For what? For what? For what? For what? For disturbing the peace. Please. How? In Florida, disorderly intoxication is governed by Florida Statutes Chapter 856, which addresses disruptive behavior while under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Specifically, Section 856.011 criminalizes being intoxicated in a public place if it leads to a disturbance or threatens public safety. The penalties for disorderly intoxication can range from fines to imprisonment depending on the severity of the disturbance and the individual's previous offenses. 
Additionally, the driver's behavior could have led to charges of resisting arrest without violence, as outlined in Florida Statutes Chapter 843, Section 843.02. This statute makes it a misdemeanor to resist an arrest without using violence, with penalties that may include up to one year in county jail and fines. The driver's disruptive actions, including shouting at officers and refusing to comply, were indicative of behavior that could result in such additional charges. All right, fellas, what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments and the forget to subscribe for more interesting and educational contents in the future. Thanks for your support.